Hey everybody! I'm here today to talk to you about seven reasons why your car is stalling at a red light. If you're at a red light and your car is stalling, or if you are at a stop sign and your car is stalling, or if you're just pulled over and your car is stalling, these are seven real reasons why it might be happening. Now obviously you're going to have to troubleshoot a bit more, but this is a good guideline for looking into what the problem might be. Reason number one is a bad or dirty mass airflow sensor. Now obviously I have some notes down here, that's why I'm going to keep looking down as I'm going through the reasoning. I can't memorize all of these, so let's get right into it. So once again, number one is a bad or dirty mass airflow sensor. So your mass airflow sensor will basically determine the amount of fuel that is going to be pushed into the engine. If your airflow sensor is bad or dirty, um, then it's going to tell the wrong amount of fuel to go to the engine, which will cause your car to potentially stall. The good thing is it's a relatively cheap fix. You can clean it extremely cheaply and easily, and I'll probably do a video tutorial on that in the future. Let me know. Drop a comment below if you want me to make a tutorial on that um, and it's also really easy to replace which I can do a tutorial on that too on my wife's older car I wouldn't want to do it on this vehicle it's still fairly new but on my wife's older car we can definitely make that happen okay really easy to clean and replace okay um, number two reason number two is bad spark plugs now your spark plugs basically send a spark which caused the combustion part of the combustion in the engine to occur which causes the engine to spin and turn basically and uh, revolve I should say because your revolutions per minute is uh, is your engine speed okay um, so basically if you have bad spark plugs that at a low engine speed when you're stopped or when you're pulled over um, the spark you're really gonna feel that misfire and enough misfiring will cause the engine to stall so it might be the case where you need new spark plugs just like a mass airflow sensor spark plugs are really cheap and easy to replace super duper easy and super duper cheap to replace if you want a tutorial on that too drop a comment below i need more video ideas so just keep dropping those comments on what videos you want me to keep on making number three is a transmission problem so basically in an automatic car for instance um if you have a bad torque converter with an automatic transmission that's going to cause your car to stall okay your torque converter basically decides when your car is at a stop that your engine is still spinning but the car isn't moving Okay, similar to how a clutch works in a manual transmission car. If your torque converter is not working properly, it's going to struggle when you are stopping and that might cause the engine to stall or to really malfunction. So look into your torque converter, not something that's cheap or easy to replace. Tra any transmission issue is going to cost you an arm and a leg. It's as simple as that. Okay. Number four, a bad fuel pump. Now your fuel sends, uh, your fuel pump sends fuel or gasoline, um, or diesel, uh, depending on your, your car, but your fuel pump sends fuel to the engine at a low engine speed, AKA when you're stopped at a red light or at a stop sign or pulled over on the side of the road or in a parking lot, whenever you're stopped, um, less fuel is going to be needed to be sent to the engine. And if your fuel pump is bad, then when it's trying to send just a little bit of fuel, it's not going to work properly. You might have a clog in the line or the fuel pump not, might not be getting enough power. But, you know, coming to a stop at a red light or a stop sign will cause your fuel pump to really malfunction if it's already going bad. Number five is a bad alternator. Now, basically your alternator, I'm going to explain how it works really quickly and easily. Um, your alternator essentially charges your battery based on your engine spinning. So your battery has an initial charge. It has however many volts and has this much of a charge. Okay. As you use your, your air conditioning, as you use your headlights, your electronics in your car, your battery level is going to deplete. Okay. It's going to go down. But your alternator takes the spinning of the engine that's happening and it uses that to charge the battery back up. Now, here's the thing. If your alternator is not working properly, okay, when you are stopped, that low engine speed is going to translate to no charging on the battery. Because if it's already not working properly, then when it's barely getting any juice at all because of the low engine speed, it means it's going to send basically nothing to the battery. And with, a, with low enough battery power, your car will stall out. Okay, it's very simple. So it could be a bad alternator. If you notice your lights are dimming, your headlights are dimming as you're driving and then it stalls, you know, and then you you can't start the car again 
Definitely a sign that it's likely your alternator. So look into that, okay? Number six, a really dirty air filter. You should be changing your air filter or cleaning it if it's a reusable one. You can clean it on a regular basis, okay? For the most part, every manufacturer and every car has a different schedule, but some people do it every oil change. Some people do it every couple of oil changes. It all depends. Look at your owner's manual to find out when you should be changing it. But if your air filter is dirty, then at a low engine speed, your engine's not going to get any air at all. Like if you floor it, your engine might get this much air because it's dirty, it's clogged up. But when you're when you're when there's low engine speed, when you're stopped, your air your engine's not going to get any air at all, which is going to give it not what it needs to combust. It needs air to create that combustion process, which keeps the engine spinning. If it doesn't get air because the air filter's dirty, guess what? Your engine is gonna stall out, very simple. Number seven is bad or dirty fuel injectors. Your fuel injectors basically send fuel to the engine. Very simple and straightforward, okay? You know, your fuel pump takes the fuel, it sends it to the fuel injectors, they send it to the engine. If your fuel injectors are bad or dirty, guess what? They're not gonna send enough fuel to the engine, and that means your engine's not gonna have enough fuel to combust properly, which means, just like I said before, it's gonna stall out. Your engine needs, you know, specific things. Uh, it needs fuel, it needs uh, a spark, it needs compression, um, it needs air, all those things to create combustion, okay? If it doesn't have those things, even one of those things, if it's lacking, it's not gonna be able to run and it's gonna stall out. So that's, you know, and, and fuel injectors are easy to change and easy to clean. That's another good thing. They're really not that difficult to work with. Um, really cheap as well, but it's gonna need to get done. So these are this is sort of a guideline to troubleshoot what the problem might be. It can be any one of these reasons, but you gotta look for multiple symptoms together and that will really tell you what the problem might be that's it those are seven reasons why your car is stalling at a red light if you like this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up let me know what you think down below as a comment and of course be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one and that's all i have for you today thanks for watching